hard, baby. I just can't get enough of this team. They're so fun to watch. Every single player on this team has their moments, and that's what makes them so special. The guard are not here to play, man. They are not here to mess around. Trent is cracked. Trent's nuts. This team is awesome. Ballin. No, no way. No way. Jonah P strikes away at the final two. No, no way. I first started paying attention to the guard because I knew of the organization through Overwatch and I was interested that they were going for more up and coming North American talent rather than trying to spend big bucks and acquire people who were well known. They're going down the route of putting a lot of faith into a coach and trying to sign some good upcoming NA talent. They had already signed a couple guys and uh, I got brought in to kind of oversee the end of it to make sure that they were hopefully making the right decisions and things like that. And uh, like from the beginning, we had no structure. We had not very many plays or things like that. Valen's IGLing was a little on the simplified end where he wasn't thinking things through or things like that. We didn't have people in the right slots either. You have Net and Valen that, you know, you've heard about them in a tier two scene, but they've never really had a chance to stand out into a high tier competition yet. But I still believed in the veterancy of Psalm and naturally, after seeing Saya player join from over from T1 and Jonah P over from Immortals, um, it started to look pretty good. And bringing in another player that I've never heard of being Trent, I was still wondering if this was that missing piece that the guard needed in order to win. Dazzle at the same time though with a big kill and look how much ground they're gaining. Net has the crossfire. Jonah P with a big kill on the B-Dog. Dazzle still keeps it at a 2v2. Jonah P strikes away at the final two. The guard, they open up their campaign in VCT with a massive win over LG. I think coming into VCT, I would have said they're a solid third place team in their group behind Cloud9 and Exit. But the pace of improvement has been even faster than I anticipated for this team. After NA Challengers, I definitely learned, okay, the, the guard means business and they certainly are a team that's trying to rise to serious contention. We ended up having a team of redemption. They really had themselves a great basis for success purely because the players were hungry for success. There's something about this the guard team that's just inexplicably amazing, Sean. Yeah, could it be the fact that they don't miss? and they have six shrats and I love them. <laughs> this team is so cool, they came out of nowhere. Let's go! We just need time to learn each other because like our strongest quality as a team is just our teamwork and our ability to play off one another. Our success is 100% respect each other and yeah, believe in each other. The biggest improvement was getting together at this boot camp, grinding eight to nine hours a day and just practicing, watching VODs and just putting in the time and it's paying off, so. We're kind of like a brotherhood, like everyone's, you know, nice to each other and we're all friendly and we, we get along really well, so in the server it also translates. We all have really good individual skill, and so pairing that together with, like, good communication and good util usage and teamwork, it just all falls into place. Every single one of these players right now can take over a game and carry it, and that has really helped us. But we do stuff together, and I think that's the most important thing in this game is you know, truly just acting as a unit where you can make a lot of rounds possible that shouldn't be possible by just working together. So it doesn't matter how bad or how dumb it is, as long as we have a plan and we do it, like that's that's kind of what we preach and uh, we've been successful with it. I don't want to sound too cliche, but I really love every single player of this team. Valen is a super young IGL that's still able to frag out, play some amazing smokes, anchor out super well, able to lead a team of four other players into victories in his first time IGL. Oh. Guys, all listen to this right now. We almost blew a 10-2, bro. Stop, yeah. let's focus up. I think Valen is a really like hard worker. He really like has been improving day by day as an IGL and I can tell he has a very strong mind for the game and yeah, I respect him a lot as a player and I can't wait to see where he'll be in a year. When they flash, I have a suck for spawn. Oh, 
Net is like one of the best Sentinel players like I've played with. He's very aggressive and he knows when to play back. Like he's good at mixing it up. Right. The turret is just waiting for a ping so he can end up pulling out the nano oh, oh, and it works oh. out. The meat grinder for Net it was his trap and it ends up going down. No oh, way! Net. No way! Oh, Net! A 1v4 to kick off the game for guard. And my god, Net, did it have to be an ace? He can, you know, drag us across the line as a Sentinel player, which is very rare. And I think it's a big reason for part of our success is that Net just has that ability to take it to the next level and really carry us if he's like feeling himself on the day. One enemy remaining. No! Let's go, Michael. What the f is your classic, brother? I also like the personalities on the lineup as well. I'm a, I'm a personal fan of Jonah. Shouts to Jonah. He can play anything. He can play like flash character or like duelist or sage or something like that. His flashes are amazing at Sky. His KO is really great. Did that get all three? That is yeah, perfect. I think it did. He has the best communications on our team, I think, in terms of he's always setting people up. He's always looking out for other people. He's a very selfless player. And just him and Trent together are able to set up Saya player very well into positions where Saya not only is able to gain map control, but is winning duels. His accuracy on, on Bladestorm's kunais, like the first blades going into heads, is insane. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm telling you it's an old player. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, god, man. He's so happy for Saya, man. He's come a long way from T1, right? He's just become a whole new player. T1 had Saya player playing Omen, and he looked formulaic, robotic. Now he's got a flow to him. He participates, of course, in the discipline of the guard, but he's got this flair that was previously not seen. Good job, boys. He has his moments really often where he's just fragging out and getting unbelievable kills and unbelievable clutches, and he's a really good duelist that makes space for the team really well. Still dancing around this cage down to 25 HP, tripwire in his way to dashing it. Oh! What is he doing? Saya player! A Red Bull clutch out of literally it's just been an explosion. It's so fascinating to watch. And I think for everyone, that one player to watch out for has to be Trent. 17 years old and the dude is, he's unlike anything we've seen so far. I mean, who is this guy? You guys seen the clips? He's insane. I hope you're just gonna play a highlight reel after this so that it just explains for itself. For the god, they're getting so much pressure. That breach. Oh, oh my what? god, Trent gets everybody. Oh, oh my Trent. <laughs> nice no. shots. one wall bank he finds one it and now it's a one versus one no way oh, let me there are always three things certain in life death taxes and trent finding a way to clutch it up switching sides all right all right walk in everyone's new round the god have been nothing short of just incredible so far Dude, i don't know how you beat him i don't know how you beat him the thing that stood out the most to me for the god is the fact that they're drilled it really feels like every every map they go into it with a game plan they're executing the pieces all work together the fundamentals of valorant look really good with this team i didn't think that the guard would have this insane growth from that first nsg event to the vct qualifiers and i think after that phase game i was honestly hooked trying to be like one of the top teams in the world is a really tough challenge all of us have the same goal of wanting to be the best team, best teammates, best players we can be. There's a lot of hard work that goes in behind the scenes. It's been a lot of, you know, practice time, review time, building those relationships and that chemistry. MCE, I was messaging mm -hmm. him like, great performance, looking awesome out there. I think I used the word polished at some point. He just goes, if you think this is polished, I can't wait till you see what we look like when we're actually figuring oh, yeah. things out. I'm a very big believer of setting realistic goals and you have to be, you know, honest on the ground floor with people where it's like, you know, we're not a top team. It's okay to say that, but these are the steps we need to take in order to move towards that and to get there. We're going to do the best that we can do and like the rest will follow. I'm excited to see like the full version of that because keep in mind, this team's only been together for a month. So there is so much room to grow for the guard and for them to be so good already is so exciting.
I don't think this is just a fluke. The sky's the limit. We can see another upcoming tier one team. Are we going to see the guard represent North America for this first tournament? I honestly think that they can, but it's going to be a very, very tall mountain to climb. I think the guard could end up being a top four team in North America, for sure. I think they are that good and they have that much potential. So let's stand guard and hope for the best for this team. And I hope to see them in a top three by the end of this year.